It's Wednesday night when the patient showed up at a Spectrum Health Hospital's emergency room. The person had symptoms known to the Ebola outbreak and had just come back from the West Africa region. Sources tell us the emergency team at Spectrum Health went into action quickly, isolating the patient and putting them into a room like this one that can be turned negative pressure so the air inside the room doesn't circulate throughout the hospital. Kent County Health officials say that the individual in this case was not tested for Ebola. After determining exactly where he had been, the concern was alleviated. The intense national coverage has prompted serious concern about the issue nationwide, especially with the recent news that someone in Texas was diagnosed with the disease, his condition reportedly deteriorating. Although we might wish we could seal ourselves off from the world, there are Americans who have the right of return, there are many other people who have the right to enter into this country, and that we're not going to be able to get to zero risk no matter what we do. Rumors about the incident at Spectrum Hospital spread quickly about social media, prompting Spectrum to officially confirm that there are no cases or suspected cases at the hospital. They reiterated, though, that they are ready, just in case it ever does show up here. So obviously an abundance of caution here used in this situation. This hospital does have systems in place, largely in part because... Be it missionary work, be it as a college town with its, the different campuses that have study abroad programs. Now, they do think that this patient may have had dengue fever, uh, a uh, condition known to the West Africa area that uh, sometimes presents itself as Ebola, but is not. The patient is expected to recover, although we don't know his exact condition at this time. Right now, reporting live from Grand Rapids, Leon Hendricks, 24-hour news aid.